In the early days, well, maybe after I'd known her three or four years, there were, at that point, some, we didn't call it objectivist yet, but some new people who were just learning her philosophy. And I had been assigned, it was totally voluntary, to teach them, to help them understand uh, the philosophy. So I gave, in a private setting, some lectures, organizing what I could. And they were, they were pretty good, you know, for considering how much of a beginner I was. And then I said, are you having a final exam? I said, yeah, sure. She said, well, why don't you have it at my apartment so I can watch? It was an oral final. I said, you want me to have, ask questions about your philosophy and judge the validity of the answers in your apartment with you watching? She said, sure. I know you know it. Don't worry about it. So, <laughs> I, you know, I had to say no and looks like, you know, or I said yes. So I said, okay. And I felt my way through the exam, and she was smiling, uh, making, you know, minor corrections in what the students said. I was defining, asking them to define branches of philosophy, and then I saw she was taking notes. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's taking notes. It's not because I'm saying something so brilliant. So when it was over, I said, I, I noticed you're taking notes. And she said, yes, you were very good. She didn't say that you know, with ravenous enthusiasm, but, you know, honestly, you were very good, but you made one mistake. So I said, what was that? She said, you didn't define metaphysics correctly. And I said, well, I said, metaphysics is the science that is the nature of reality. She says, that's wrong. You cannot use the word reality there. It has to be studies the nature of the universe, because the universe is simply the fact out there. That's what we study. Reality brings in consciousness. Reality is the fact to the extent that it gets into your mind. For instance, you can say, my friend is dead. That's the universe. That's the fact out there. But it's not real to me, or it's only partly real to me. Once you bring in real, you're not talking about what's out there, but what's out there as and to the extent it's absorbed by a consciousness. And that is not what metaphysics studies. Epistemology studies consciousness, but metaphysics studies what's out there. And that one example put in my mind the idea that it is not acceptable. I mean, once you develop enough, it is not acceptable to say some word that approximately is what you mean. If you say the universe in this context, you have to know why the universe rather than reality, or why the universe rather than the stars, etc. You don't have to go through all the possibilities. But again, I had the idea, well, if you say, you know, in general what you mean, this particular experience really gave me the idea, be precise. Now, if you overdo that, you can't talk because you have to go through a hundred possibilities. But I mean, just the few that you know you should review if you're making some kind of formal statement. And certainly a teacher has to know why it's this kind of you know, wording.